Welcome to the Flavors of Belize cooking show. I'm Chef Sean Quillen, and I am here today at the penthouse at the Cocoa Beach Resort here in Hamburgers Key. No mind you, the kitchen pretty, the AC cool and everything, but we're going to be making Belizean by love with my crawfish self. There's no wrong recipe for this thing. Actually, the recipe will be dependent on what you find at the market that day. I mean, anything ground food, any ground food. So, Belize, we have all of this nice thing. I used to work in Dominica. And they got, when they want to party, they say they go on lime. And when they go lime, it's usually going by a riverside. Have your pot of water with some rock, some firewood where you find it. It could be driftwood from the river, whatever. And you just open up your bear. And, I mean, put everything in there. If you, if you catch fish, you put that in there. Uh, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, they love something called passam. What we call passam, they call it maniku. Nothing nicer for them boy than for uh, catch a maniku hiding in a tree with a nice long stick. Skin that, they call it swinge it so they throw hot water in it. Take off all the hair and stew down a, a maniku. Now in Belize, I don't think we're that adventurous, but we could do this with iguana. <laughs> Give not. Whatever game meat. So I put plantains, I put sweet potato, I put cocoa, I put my favorite. Cassava, my favorite, favorite food. Um, after that, you, uh, you do your uh, pigtails. No pigtails, how did that come to the country? I don't know, but it's, it's very interesting because it, in the Caribbean, again, they use a lot of salt cod fish. And salt cod comes from Alaska. So this, has, like, again, I said, this has to do a lot of history with the, the traveling and the, 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 the British and stuff with trading because Pigtail is not necessarily from Belize, but it's a brined. Come from Canada, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not. So this is the easy part. Just boil it until soft. So the only thing I could tell you about pigtail, you have to boil it three times. They always tell you that. Um, to desalinate it. So you, you boil it, you throw away the water, boil it again two more times, and you throw away the water. No. No feel like that water, no good, because that same water now, in my opinion, remember it's salty and you have pork, you have fat. So I'm gonna take Mr. Cabbage here and I will dice it up and I, I'm on the, when I'm on the final stage of that pigtail water, guess what? I put the same cabbage in that water because it's gonna get the goodness of the brine, the salt and the, the pork fat and nothing nicer than that. There's a thing called in French tomato concasse. What is concasse is to take the Regular tomato you find at the market, it could be the Roma or anything. You give it a little X on the back, on the back of the tomato. And I'm going to throw this in the same pigtail water now. What will happen is that this will come right off, peel it. And this is exactly when you buy bigger, you know, bigger tomato we used to buy at the store. This is the same thing that they pack it in a factory in the United States. Put it in a can and sell it to you. You can make it yourself. You just put a little X in the back, put it in the water, boil it for five minutes. Call tomato con case, okay? When it's time to make the tomato sauce, you have to give it more flavor, and especially because it's a Caribbean dish, Creole dish, we want to add some nice Belizean coconut oil. So I know everybody don't know that when you put coconut oil, onion and garlic in a pot, how it smell. Then you add the tomato. Remember, it's very hot too, right? So, again, there's no, I could always add the same paste too, just to give you show you what's happening. Add some onions and garlic. And we're gonna make the tomato sauce. So I'm going to the pot now. Coconut oil, get it really hot. Why you do that? Actually, my mama teach me this part, that when you take something like this and you pour it in hot oil, you saw it look, it look not red. It, it will magically get really bright, super red. Why? I don't know. I just listened to my mom. So, we have the tomato sauce, we have the pigtail, we have the provision um, boiling. And one thing I forgot to say, but I put it in the pot, was we usually put boiled eggs too. So, it, everybody knows boiled eggs, just throw the egg in there, boil it for a couple of minutes, take it out. Um, let's do the boiled cake, or boiled cake, like what we call it here. Yeah. When the other day I, I got a key with a fisherman, and we never got no water, we use salt water. And we boil it and they say, you call this drunk dead man. Okay, you look like the flower sink right at the bottom. Um, 
What is boil cake? It's just simply a pastry. It's flour, salt, baking powder, and water. I don't know how our North American friends would like this too much because it's very dense, right? But we love it. And it, it's almost like a filler. So if you're, when you're hungry bad and your thing's bad, you could make by a cake. Yeah, so you just need the flour, water, baking powder, and salt. Everybody knows what needs. So this is what it would look like. And again, remember that um, remember that uh, pigtail water we talk about with the with the cabbage. Nothing wrong with put this bile cake in that same water to give flavor. I know somebody will like this one, right? Big. All right. Make that do a thing. Couple minutes, ten minutes, and we're ready to plate up. All right. So, bile cake the float that I'll eat in the case and it's finished, no? So, how to plate this thing? Yeah. It's your, your preference, you know. Leave it at everything, it can't hurt. And finally, to finish the boil up, we put the tomato sauce, and I like to drizzle it over my, mostly over everything. All right, down the middle. You could finish with some cilantro. Or if you want to make it a little pretty, I took the same yolks from the egg and to make it kind of this sexy you could always put the yolks like that. Alright, the only thing I think could have put on this uh, once you should have believe that you know you put some pepper sauce. You usually put it every way eh? or on the side and you grab it. And since I got pepper sauce in my hand too, better I grab a cold bear like with the lime up now. And the cover usually works for you to open it with that too. So I want to say thank you to Sandy Point Resorts in San Pedro and Flavors of Belize. And if you don't have the book, cookbook, it's a, if you have the cookbook, it's on page 70. And if you don't have it, obviously run along and go buy it. You're all on Facebook anyway. We go to Amazon.com. Thank you for watching Flavors of Belize. I'm Chef Sean Quillen. Thank you.